This video is how to make a score in Game Lab. Now before I start, I have a bunny that I created here, and a cow that I created here, and then inside my draw loop, I have these four if statements, one for the up, the down, the left, and the right key, so that I can make my bunny move around anywhere I want to. And what I want to do is add a score so that if the bunny touches the cow, the score goes up and it's displayed on the screen. So the first thing I want to do is uh, at the very top, I want to create a variable. So I'll click on variables here. And I'll just take this first one and put it at the top. And I want to make the variable not called x, but called score, all lowercase. And I'll start by setting that equal to zero. Then inside my draw loop, so inside the green, I want an if statement. I'll put that right here. And I want to say if the bunny is touching the cow, then make the score go up. So since the bunny and the cow are sprites, I'm in my sprite drawer here. And you need to scroll down to is touching. Stick that inside the if. So if bunny is touching cow. And these are case sensitive, so they have to match exactly the way they were created up here. Bunny cow, I make mine all lowercase, so I don't have any trouble. So if bunny dot is touching cow, uh, and then I need to make the score go up. So under variables, I'm going to grab this third one. I only need the var part when I'm creating it, and I already created it at the very top, so I don't need that here. So I'll grab the third one, and we need to say score equals score plus one. So what I'm saying is give the score a new value that's whatever it already was plus one more. Okay, so we can check out that this is working. Let's reset. We can check out that this is working by typing score down here and watching its value. So we'll go ahead and run it. Right now our score is zero, so that part's working. And when they're touching, we should see it go up. And as you can see, it's going up very, very fast. And the reason is this draw loop, this green part, happens 30 times per second. So it checks the first time, they're touching, it adds 1 to the score, and then it checks again over and over and over, and it keeps checking. So uh, you probably don't want your score to work that way. Uh, we'll put it on the screen first, and then we'll fix it. So to put it on the screen, find where you added your background, which is right here for me, but wherever it is for you. And right after your background, you want to draw some words on the screen. So we'll grab a text block and for now we'll just backspace all this out including the quotation marks. You don't want those in there. And we're just going to say score. And now these two numbers, this 0 and 15, that's its position on the screen. So the x position of 0 is right up here and the y position of 15 means just down like a little bit. So let's see what that looks like. You can kind of see a zero right there, but it's still a little hard to see, even if I turn the grid off. There it is, you can see a zero. That's not a great spot. Uh, I'm going to scoot it over to the middle of the screen, uh, and maybe down just a tad. Let's reset that. Okay, so it's pretty small. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to put a text size block right above it and make it quite a bit bigger. We'll try like a 30 font. Okay, so now we can at least see what it is. Uh, and I'll move over there and make sure that it's working the way I expect it to. Okay, it's working the way I expect, but I don't like the way it's working. So I'm going to make it where it only goes up one when they're touching. So let's reset that. In order to do that, uh, right down here where I added that score, and I should probably put a comment here to remind me later on what this is doing. Update score. Um, before I add one to the score, I should probably move the uh, bunny back where he was. So um, whenever they're touching, I'm going to move bunny's x back to, it uh, looks like he started at the 100 position, roughly right there. So I'll move him back there. So whenever the bunny touches the cow, move the bunny back to where he was and update the score by one. So let's try it again. Hopefully he'll jump back to his starting position. There we go. 
and that's how you can add score to the screen. Now, one more thing uh, before I stop this, you might want it to say score right here next to that number. You could do that with a separate uh, text block. So another one of these blocks right here, and you would just switch the X position. Another way to do that is inside of this block, zoom in a little bit, inside of this block, you can make quotation marks and say score colon space and then a plus. So this first score will be just the word score written on the screen. And this lowercase score with no quotation marks will be the value of the variable as it is being updated down here. So we'll reset you can see that. And that's it.